Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. This is Coombe Cassis for IFL TV. Delighted to be joined by Mr. Peter Fury. How are you, mate? Right. Yeah, not too bad, Coogan, thanks. Out uh, early on a Saturday morning? Yeah, just uh, flying over to Holland to see um, Rico Verhoeven and uh, he's, he's, uh, he's having a glory competition and it's, uh, like a, in a tournament. So I'm just going over to, uh, to see that, really. Nothing else. Nice. Um, I was well say following your Twitter last night. I know you uh, would have watched the boxing last night. Um, a, a devastating second round knockout by Anthony Joshua of Francis Ngannou. What did you think of it, Peter? I think it's what I said in the uh, beforehand. You know, this this Francis Ngannou, big dangerous man. He's a fighting man, no doubt, strong, powerful, but he's a uh, He's a complete novice. He's not not a boxing man, is he? So you're in with a world level. When you when you step up, he should have been, he got dealt with. There he should have been dealt with because this is why he's boxing for a reason. You know, he could you couldn't miss him. So as soon as he as soon as he started unloading, it was over. So that's what should happen to a to a, to a one a one and a, a one a one fight novice. Because being strong and powerful and big doesn't mean to say you're a world level boxer. You're not. It's a ring. It's uh, it's for boxing, and that's what showed. Lad. That's what showed. Not taking anything from the fella, but he's um, this is boxing. It's not a tough man competition. Listen, if that was in MMA, it'd be the same the other way around. But it's not, is it? It's a bo- it's a boxing ring. So he's uh, he's 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 not at that level. And he can't be at that level. He's had no he's had no boxing experience. Do you think that people were reading um too much into his performance against Tyson leading into this? I think look, every fight's different. And I, look, what I will say is this, you know, Nagano is not a boxer, is he? He's new to the game, you know, he's entered he's entered ton of money, and that's it. But um, no, look, we're not in the gym learning skill sets for years on end. You know, it's it's the little bits and pieces, you know, which make a whole difference. That's why people like Josh, you're out. There's no fast track to this game, and you know he's no he's no different. Yeah, world MMA fighter. You can see big, powerful unit. Look, powerful units, big punches, and all this don't make world level fighters. So it's very simple. So I expected the result probably not as quick because I didn't know how tough Nagano was. But as soon as he got it, he, that was the, that was the end of it. But Joshua can it to be fair. So, but look, you can't stand in front of any any heavyweight can punch. If you're there to be it, you're going nowhere. Do you think this might make um, MMA fighters who Think they can come over to boxing? Think twice. Seeing that last night. Well, they've done it in other weight classes, haven't they? So they can they can cross over. It just depends. But people get carried away. You've got to be a world level boxer to. Uh, you've got to avoid the shots. You've got to be able to slip and offset opponents. You know that doesn't. Uh, you just can't change up and think. Oh, I'm looking for the big punch. It's just never going to happen. Look. This was a publicity fight more than anything. They went to Port Junior Money. Well, you know, it was it. Joshua had done what he needed to do to a two fight novice, and he got the job done in style as it should be done. So you can't say anything else. And nobody, nobody can read it any other way, can they? No, uh, absolutely not. But I mean, prior to this, Peter, I mean, speaking to people in boxing, there was a lot of people that were suggesting that this was going to be a difficult fight for Anthony Joshua. Uh, only as far as he, uh, he's, uh, he's, a, he's a big puncher and he's a big dangerous man. But more than that in boxing. Look, I think people who know boxing, know boxing. And people who don't know boxing, obviously, you know, they've got an opinion. Yeah, I mean, look, I, I think... 
kind of how you said it is how people have, are now viewing it in, in terms of that is what was meant to happen. But yeah, I mean, prior to that, there was it was a, not I'm saying an exact split opinion, but there was a lot of people that were thinking that Joshua wasn't even going to stop him or knock him out. They thought that Joshua would beat him on points, but. Yeah. Well, you can't say, nobody can say he was going to knock him out and do this and do that because we don't know how Nagano's trained. We don't know how tough he is and how, how he can withstand punishment. And this is not about withstanding punishment. When people hit you with snapshots like that and they're quick, you know, I don't care who you are, you like to go in out. You've got to be able to slip and slide them shots. You've got to see them coming and you've got to, you've got to, pre-med, you've got to premeditate that these shots are coming before they get there by watching the balance and where they're going. So <laughs> you can't wait for the punch to start travelling and then try and move, can you? Do you think we'll see Francis Ngannou box again? Uh, I don't know. Um, maybe, maybe not. You know, the man's made a lot of money, hasn't he? He's not. He's not going anywhere on the world stage, is he? Because he's he's got too much to catch up with. But you know, look, he can can they come back course? It's a, it's a long road, isn't it? Especially when you get in it like that. But anything's possible. Can't rule anything out. But he's a he's a fellow that's never boxed before, because MMA is different to uh, boxing, especially at that level. Okay. Well, listen. Um, yeah, just wanted to get a quick reaction from you, Peter. Um, but yeah, listen. It was job done for Joshua last night. I think that. it's good for I think it's good for boxing because there's one thing there's one thing that uh, Anthony Joshua has done. He showed what he showed what a prop, what what boxing can do to to real not to non boxers really, and that's what's happened here. So it's good for the sport. And he didn't need it in again. And listen, he done well. He done well, Joshua. We know he can't take anything away from him. He set it up, you know, and he um, he put the shots together, hit him clean. He didn't need it in again, you know. That would that would put a that would put a mule over. But look, I've always said, and I said before, and he was there to be. He was, he's there to be hit. He's got. He can't get his feet out of the way. There's a difference. There's a lot to boxing. I could go on all night. Why the reasons why he's been hit, but he was gonna. He, he was gonna get it if you know what I mean. Because of the inexperience and where he is. But full credit to the man, you know. He's stepped up to the plate and he's got in there. You know, so but it comes back down to this, being a strong being a strong man, a powerful puncher, a great athlete, somebody that can pick a car up and throw it over a cliff doesn't make a world class boxer. People need to understand that. Having a six pack and being built like a brick shit house does not make you a world level boxer. Hmm. When are we going to see your boy Huey in this uh, blossoming heavyweight mix again, Peter? Yeah, he's back, and uh, it's uh, they're going to announce something very, very soon. But he's out very, very soon now. Okay, and it's not it's not months away. He's uh, I can tell you, he's definitely boxing in April next month. That's good. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. Yeah, it is. It's about time. <laughs> it's about time. Yeah, it is. Sure. All right, listen, I will let you um, crack on with your road and ferry. You getting on a ferry? No, I'm getting on a plane, Cougar. Are so. oh, you getting on a plane? <laughs> yeah, he's fighting this evening. By the time I got the ferry today, it'd be all over. I'll tell you what, you look you look fresh for someone that's had five bottles of wine. I think the very, you know, I'm not too bad. <laughs> Just to no, confirm. definitely not. Just if, I had three bottles, if I had three bottles of wine, I wouldn't be up this morning. Definitely not. No. I think it finished about one o'clock. So I've only had a few hours sleep myself. Yeah, it finished here about four, half four round it. Yeah. yeah. I didn't see it. I, I never saw a look to the undercard because I got back about nine o'clock. I've seen the Nick Balls fight, I've seen the Parkers fight. And I, I watched the three fights. That was it. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't see what was on the card before. What did you think of Parker? Um, his win over Zhile Zhang. Obviously, he was dropped twice in that fight, but still uh, managed to get the win. Listen, he done well. He kept him off with his feints, and uh, Zhang couldn't throw a punch after round five. You know, he looked like he was full of lactic acid. But um, 
you know, he's not. A, he didn't look a fighter in shape to me, Zang. You know, the, the fat was over his trunks and stuff. So I don't know. He just didn't look well. He obviously wasn't because he couldn't throw. He couldn't throw after um, after five rounds. You know, he was, he was threatening to throw, but he couldn't do it. Is it his age? But I think mainly due to Parker's boxing and keeping him, keep setting him off with angles, the feints, and he 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 unpicked him. Mm. So as much I'm not I'm not trying to be clever, but as much as what I said would happen happened with Parker and Zhang. But Parker's done well. He's had a good result. Zhang is very dangerous. Mm. As we know. We shall see what happens. Okay, Peter, thank you very much for your time early this morning for you. Um, no problem, Coogan. We'll, definitely... we'll catch up when you're back. 100%. 100%. All the best. When are you flying back? Um, I'll be home next week. Oh, so you've, you're... You're staying out there, are you? Uh, yeah, a couple more days I'm here, and then uh, going to be home. So yeah, <laughs> good man. No problem, Coogan. All the very best. Thank you very much, Peter Fury. Wall Street memes casino. I'm fine. And sportsbook.